she is against any kind of moral relativism. Uh, she used to say, I believe that there's a truth and that it's knowable. And it's not your truth and his truth and somebody else's truth. There is a truth. And that with enough intellectual and moral effort, it was discernible. And uh, you see this in novels like The Gross of Academia. You see it in uh, her novel A Charmed Life, uh, all of these in the new Library of America edition. And uh, I think you realize that there is something um, that's all of a piece about her work. Mary was always something of an outlier. She rejected the term feminist. She did not like that. But by almost anyone's estimation, she was a feminist in spite of herself. And um, she, uh, I, I think actually one of the most fascinating things about um, the group is not the depiction of the young women who are the undergraduates at the college, not the depiction of um, uh, Mary's own generation, but the depiction of the women who preceded them. Uh, the depiction of the women on the faculty, and even the mothers uh, of the main characters in the group. The mothers are uh, somewhat significant characters in there, and I think it's very interesting to see uh, the people that uh, Mary felt were sort of in, bigger and braver than uh, the generation that followed.